I'll say your Colts won this week. Yeah, we won. We won. We you shot the um the proverbial BB gun. Yeah. The quarterback got injured again. And um it's gonna be out for a while now. I mean, um I want to leave with the good Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but hey, we finally got our running back back. Um uh, yeah, Jonathan Taylor signed his goddamn extension, came back and got to play. 21 minutes with our um the future of our franchise. So yeah, got a um, little glimpse of the future for a hot second before quarterback got injured on a fucking run and got slammed on the shoulder. Hey look, uh, hey look, hey look, you you want me to silver lining this for you? <laughs> three and two, three and two, three and two. <laughs> yes, but when it's when it's three and six, I want you to say, hey, I want you to keep your eyes on the goal here. Focus, right? You know who your quarterback is, and I, <laughs> I think that you should be pleased with what you have seen thus far. Yes. I just, this, need the mother, I just need the motherfucker to stay on the field. And and that is not looking like something that's happening a lot this particular season. Mm, yeah. So, let me hear me out. Hear me out. Four to eight weeks. That puts us around uh, week fourteen, right? Mm-hmm. Week fourteen. Mm-hmm. Week fourteen. Maybe you come back for the last three games. You got maybe they have three, four games. I don't think they're gonna have a week fourteen because uh, the season's gonna be eighteen weeks, right? Yeah. Seventeen games, eighteen weeks though. But week fourteen for them, they'll probably have four games left. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Depending on what the record is, maybe. Mm-hmm. Right. So you miss eight weeks. Maybe you don't come back to next. Maybe you last two. I don't foresee the record being very good. But here's the here's the good part about that. You know who your quarterback of the future is. You just signed your running back of the future. Yeah. We got hey, that. Look, we got look, that. Look, give him a couple carries. Kick the rust off. But Parky. Hmm. Um, sure up your team from the most um, overlooked standpoint that offensive line oh yeah go there with your draft y'all pretty stout with weapon quarterback I think y'all will be better served not doing well and being able to draft first round, second round offensive line talent. Build your team that way. And that'll help in getting your quarterback to be able to, you know, possibly finish the game. Yeah, that, you know, get to the handshake. See, 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 you know, that sounds that's, that, that, that sounds smart. This sounds smart and rational and and fucking logical and well thought out. I want us to win every fucking game. <laughs> that is not where I see it. <laughs> like, no. That, that that sounds like the way to go. That sounds like the best plan. Plan for the future. Trust the process. Actuality, I want us to go out and beat the shit out of Tennessee 914 to 12. I mean, yeah, 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 but um, whatever the fuck Justin Simberlake said to the kid from um from that movie, God Gone Away, My Love, and another uh, woman that could. T- you talking about Ti? No, nah, nah, um, whatever he said to the to the Facebook dude. Um, Zuckerberg. Yeah, whatever Justin Simberlake said to Mark Zuckerberg. You want to beat Tennessee today, or you want to beat Tennessee in the AFC Championship year after year after year after year, and then Pittsburgh. I mean, with a quarterback of the future, with an offensive line that you got solidified, with a running back that you got to milk the next three years out of before he done. Yeah. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. You wouldn't like that? 
Yes, that sounds that sounds perfectly fucking rational, logical. It sounds ideal. But when Sunday come along, it's gonna be tough sitting there watching your team get their ass whipped and looking at that silver lining. Look, because you know, because 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 see, still our um our head of football decision making is a fucking crackhead. So <laughs> Aaron lies the rub. Ooh, yeah. Kind of hard to trust the future with a crackhead involved. You just one eight ball away from <laughs> everything right. different. Everything different. <laughs> right. Like, I don't want to hear about this nigga fucking around and trading the first round draft pick to the goddamn Detroit Lions for a goddamn rock burger. Hey, look, if you, <laughs> if you lose the rights to making the decision on the first pick of the draft to your drug dealer. <laughs> hey, look, man, I ain't got no more. I ain't got nothing on me right now. But look, you know, I, 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 look, how about this? How about this? How about this? How about this? Yeah, hey, April, right? April, right? April, right? How about this? How about this? In April, it cut to you. Cut to you. <laughs> And they say, who do you want to pick for the first pick for the Indianapolis coach? And it's gonna and you do it. <laughs> and the guy right now, no lie. My you. name is Thursday. He say, she say, can I get that rock today? <laughs> Fuck this nigga and just goddamn sold the goddamn number one draft pick to his goddamn Dealer, now his deal is drafting somebody to serve for him. It's like it's all fucked up. Oh, he's definitely drafting one of his cousins that plays for somebody's like D three or some shit. Right. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely, one hundred percent. This motherfucker was a this motherfucker was a junior year walk on. <laughs> he's calling number one. What the fuck you talking about, Jim? But that's what I'm doing. Man. You know how many people be around with money? Our number four pick is a nigga named Speedy on the block because because that nigga remember the time that he ran from the police and ran three blocks before the motherfucker got out the car. Like, yeah, I think he gonna be good in y'all secondary. Put him in the nickel back position. Put him in the nickel. <laughs> Put him in the nickel. That's what the motherfucker gonna be saying. Put him in the nickel. What you need? I got. Hey, look, all jokes aside, though, more realistically, he's definitely got like a little cousin or some shit like that, or, it's, or that, that that's fucking somebody at somebody's school that is like talented somewhere that he feels that he could get some shit through uh, to all of the player wives and some shit. Like, m- motherfuckers will really do that shit. They will really tear down a young athlete through a woman. That'll really fucking happen. Just letting y'all know, put it out there. I don't know if motherfuckers need to be told that shit, but it's real out of here. I would do it. I mean, if I were to, you know, need an end on an athlete. If I gamble, I could see myself possibly, you know, hiring an individual to, you know, date you for a while and then break up with you right before the big game. <laughs> right before the game that I bet on y'all not to cover this spread. All oh. of a sudden, all, all of a sudden, your star running back find his girl, no, your star offensive lineman find his girlfriend fucking a running back. Oh, oh, she's definitely mm. gonna fuck a teammate. I'm de- I'm definitely mm. gonna I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make it like so he going to win in spite of. No, 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 no. The, the team is going to implode, fam. <laughs> she's going she's gonna to definitely get caught in a precarious situation with somebody that's dear to the, the operation. Right. These motherfuckers, it ain't going to be no linebacker and a fucking running back. No. No, it's going to be the center and the quarterback. Hey, fam, whatever the fuck happened, between Marshawn Lynch and whoever the fuck it happened between, <laughs> and made them say, "Yeah, yeah, not you, not you. We're gonna throw it. 
<laughs> From here, we're gonna we're gonna throw it. Star running back, offensive coordinator. Hey, look, fam, I ain't never seen a motherfucking defense line up. Look at the motherfucking offense. <laughs> See what they're gonna do and say, really? Oh fuck. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Before Mike. Before Mike. <laughs> Snap the ball. Snap the ball. <laughs> oh, do that shit. Please do that shit. And then they did it. And that, the- and that motherfucker, while he was stepping up on that pass, he got to be he had to be thinking, hey, they really doing this shit. They really, I'm finna jump the shit out this route. They doing this shit for real. They really finna run a slant. And look, and you know what it was like to play. They rehearsed at like at like four fifty seven. Supposed to be off at five. Definitely Super Bowl. We supposed to be off at five. Four fifty seven. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! I got one more to install real quick. Got one more. You run this goal line slant real quick. <laughs> just, just try it out. Let's try it out. See what it is. They all bitched and moaned. Hey, and I guarantee you that pass, I guarantee you that play got picked off in practice. The motherfuckers knew it wasn't going to work. <laughs> They're like, ain't no way for to run this shit. Why we doing this stupid shit? And they got there, they all collectively. Oh. They doing it. And the nigga Belichick on the sideline, top of the nigga shoulder. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at this. They doing it. They doing it. They doing it. They doing it. <laughs> Malcolm, they doing it. Malcolm, they doing it. I see it, coach. I see it. <laughs> Get ready. Just like you heard. <laughs> oh shit! It's almost like you recorded this. They said they picked that motherfucker play off nine times in practice that week. <laughs> and then I'm like, yep, 10th time charm. Hey. Russell has like, I got it this time, coach. Just believe in me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else on the team knew this shit wasn't going to work. Hey, look, when no one called his number, he said, wait a minute, hold on. He said, he was like, well, Brett, whoa, 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 wait, what? You, you, wait, wait, you said, you, you said, you said 16. Right. Uh, he 33, fam. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, it's 32. What the fuck is Marshawn? 32, 33? Marshawn, Marshawn, what's your number? 24, man. It's 24. <laughs> 24, fam. I'm 16. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm supposed to, hey, look, look, look. I'm supposed to block. I'm supposed to be out here. I'm supposed to get a, a, a nickel at best. Right. I'm uh, uh, and then I'm a, uh, uh, a nickel at best. <laughs> I really prefer a corner, but I'm linebacker. I'll tell you right now. You can hear that nigga in the goddamn uh in the broadcast booth. <laughs> 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 NFL highlights, <laughs> Good Hard Classics, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna have for you, fam. Yeah, we had stadium. We knew he was not gonna make that block. <laughs> Don't me on nobody that's known for none of this shit down here. Right. And right now was gonna be a problem. See, see what, see what I told y'all about. What are you doing to me? You get up knowing some shit from the fail, and then it fail, and they looking at you like, why you catch the ball? Why you throw it? <laughs> Man, don't ask me why I ain't catch that motherfucking ball. Right. Nigga, I ain't caught that ball, ball yet. Right. Every, every, every fucking pra- every practice. Who caught the ball? <laughs> Nobody, right? Nobody, right? <laughs> Nobody, right? You ran the ball in every time. Look at his neck. Look at his neck. <laughs> Hey, Marshawn, show him your neck. Right here, man. Hey, yo, fam. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. I don't know if you seen Marshawn. Uh, 
Marshawn Shannon Sharp interview yet. I know, I ain't seen, I ain't seen that. You ain't seen it. So he talked about that. He talked about Russell Wilson. I don't know. If we, I don't. Know if we, yeah, we I, I, did, about I did see that part. Yeah, but he was talking about this shit. He said, "I laughed in that man's face." <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Hey, look, babe. Hey, look, babe. Hey, look, babe. Hey, look. Hey, look. Sometimes you just gotta laugh. <laughs> I believe it, but I mean, I also seen the fucking interview where Marshawn Lynch said that his whole entire goal is to run through a motherfucker's face. He said that shit four times, repeated that exact same phrase: "Run through a motherfucker's face." And he said this on ESPN. So you know that he meant run through a motherfucker face because he kept saying run through a motherfucker's face and not run through an MF's face. Not run through a person's face. Every single time, run through a motherfucker face. So you know what that nigga planned to do? Run through a motherfucker face. It was a face on the one yard line. He was going to run through the motherfucker face. Whatever face they had. Go run through the motherfucker face. Literally, nobody in the history of history has ever said the phrase run through a motherfucker's face before Marshawn Lynch said that shit on ESPN. Hey, look, Why not let this nigga run through a motherfucker face? Hey look, hey, look, hey, look, because nobody can get that. Who the fuck can get that? Nobody's trying to get that off. Nobody's trying to attempt, I'm going to run through a motherfucker face. Nobody's trying to attempt. No, nobody's thinking they can get that off. That's like envy talking about, I, I should box your mouth. Like, if you were a different person, maybe it would work. Like maybe Marshawn could get up. Man, I should box your mouth. But like, he might get that off. Yeah. Maybe him. It was a motherfucker from a particular uh YouTube series that was from New York. Motherfucker said, You don't respect the job. I don't think everybody can get that particular friend. So everybody can't say everything. Yeah. Everything ain't for everybody. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That wasn't one for him. But run through a motherfucking face. Run through a face was four like, months on. Like I don't, I don't think nobody could get that out because nobody ever thought about running through a motherfucker's face before. I think Marshawn Lynch was the first motherfucker to decide that he wanted to run through a motherfucker's face. Hey, we we went we went we went masks, right? We you we don't wear the helmets no more with the leather strap at the chin. Remember with him, we we put the hole with the with the with the mat. You, you right. You, you want to break that motherfucker? Right. You oh. know how much you know how much work you got to go through to get to a motherfucking face, let alone run through that shit. Man, you know if you crack this motherfucker, where it gotta go, right? You know how how potentially catastrophic that could be, right? Yeah. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't care. You don't care. You don't care. Are you from the you from the bay? And oh, you do this all every all every day all day. Okay, oh, okay, every day all day. I, I get it. Let's just go ahead and give him the ball on the one yard line. Just give him the fucking ball. <laughs> the fucking ball. And look, that was just the dumbest shit ever. And ain't no good. Ain't nothing you do ever gonna turn out right. Sometimes you ain't gotta put a rule on a motherfucker to put a rule on themselves. Nah. And shit has gone downhill for both of them since then. Hey, look, it was going to go down for Marshawn, but Pete. I mean, not, 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 not Marshawn. I'm talking about um, Bill, Car- Pete Carroll, and uh, and uh, Russell. Oh, oh, both of them definitely prematurely uh, uh, ejaculated. Yeah, I, I had to. It just felt right. I don't know why, but okay, Paul. But yeah. yeah Paul. It, they, they 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 came they came too quick. Yeah. It's over. I don't know, but I, I think it's over with. I don't see a resurgence for Russ uh, right. in Denver. And, and look, I'm gonna um, keep it a bean with you. I don't give a fuck what Seattle do. Uh, the West is one through one road. We understand that. West is going through the bay. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's all. So, no room here for you guys. I mean, y'all what? Four one five and zero. Four five, four one. Ooh, five 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 and zero. Five and oh. Ooh. Yeah. 
and oh, <clears throat> I seen the work. I seen the work y'all put in um, Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, you know, we did, we did, we did, we did, we did some things. It was impressive. It was impressive. Y'all did, y'all did numbers. Y'all did numbers. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was night work. Hey, uh, hey, so nigga, how was your week? Um, uh, tenuous at best. I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, it's hard to be happy when you can't celebrate the shit you want to celebrate because. You won't know when it's going to be over with, mm. but you just got this nagging, looming feeling like it's going to happen any moment. Mm. So, so impending doom. Yeah, impending doom. Like uh, season over with, catastrophic. Like yeah, okay, all right, we done. And I don't know. It's like you could any, any, mighty motor shit out. Who the fuck knows? So while it's good to you know be out here. Five and oh, we out, out, the motherfucker, out the gate. Great. We normally get out late. I don't know. Is this what it feel like to be uh, uh, paranoid for real? Yeah. Man, Joe. I'm paranoid. For real. This shit supposed to bring you joy, not worry, right? Yeah. Your sports teams ain't supposed to bring you anxiety. Yeah, you're supposed to enjoy it. Enjoy, especially when you're winning. You're definitely supposed to enjoy being a fan. Nah, nah, man. I don't know. I'm overall just tense. I'm, I'm tense about my sports. Tense about everything. It's just... You, it, you, you, you're Willie D and my mind playing tricks on me. Man, hey, look. Hey, look. <laughs> 